when life clobbers you across the head and knocks you down and you're in that dark valley, everything in your life is dark. And you're asking yourself, what am I gonna do now? And you're doubting yourself. These moments, these are what define your life. There's gonna be things that go on that are out of your control. The worst thing you can do is let something that's out of your control control you. Get control of yourself, get control of your emotions. Don't get angry, don't get frustrated. Instead, stay calm and figure out how to move forward. Things are gonna get harder, things are gonna to get tougher. That's the way life works. So what you need to do is you need to get harder and you need to get tougher. I'm talking to you, you're going through a storm right now. And I want you to know that this too shall pass like every storm that has come to you. Every single storm, this too shall pass. Just because you fail don't make you a failure. And just because you lost don't make you a loser. Whatever you're going through right now, if you can just muster up enough strength to hold on and hold out. I don't care how long it takes you to finish school, hold on. I don't care how long it takes you to pass that bar exam. Hold on and hold out. If you do not quit, if you do not give up, it's coming, baby. I want you to speak life into that thing. Whatever it is, you feel like, I can't fail another test. I can't go through another day like this. I can't handle it. Whatever your circumstances are, say with me, I can. I can get through this. I will. I will get through this. I must. You're not a product of your environment. You're not a product of your external storm. What you have or what you don't have, where you come from or what you don't come from. The traumas, the abuses, the good and the bad. None of that dictates, but it's what you will do in the moment. Watch your response. What you do matters. As long as there's breath in your lungs, there's hope in your heart. As long as you're breathing, yes, you can. You have got to make a declaration that I am going to get through this. I am tougher than this. I'm bigger than this. I'm stronger than this. I will not surrender. Because whatever challenge is in front of me, it pales in comparison to the power within me. You have got to take full responsibility of your life. I got myself here. I can get myself out. And I am getting out. I am not going to be a volunteer victim. You will take full ownership. It's my fault. It's my problem. I'm coming up with the solution for it. It's my fault. It's my problem. It's my solution. I'm taking ownership. You got to increase your willpower because you're going to go through it. You got to look at life when life knocks you down and says, this all you got? The dark? Is this it? I was born in the dark, shaped in the dark, molded by the dark. I will break you because I lived in the dark. I trained in the dark. I became this person in the dark. You recycle your pain. You use your pain. You take your pain and let your pain push you to another level. Push you fast what you ever thought you could do, what you ever thought you could be, what you ever thought you could have. You use your pain. You recycle it. I just need you to keep walking toward it. I don't need you thinking about it no more. You're doing too much thinking. You're analyzing too much. You're talking yourself out of it. I don't know if this is going to work. I tried and it didn't work. I just need you to keep moving. I need you to make up in your mind that the only way you can lose is if you quit. I just need you to keep going. They make diamonds by one, putting it under pressure, two, putting it under extreme heat, and three, they cut it. When it finishes going through all of that, you cannot break it. I've been broken so much. I've been defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life that I know what it feels like and I can handle it. Once you get to that point, you cannot be broken anymore. Find that reason to wake up every day and go get it. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got to go. But when you write your why down, what your why does for you is say, you can't quit. You can't give up. You can't stop. Your spouse is going to push you. Your child is going to push you. The need to get better is going to push you. Because you're closer than you're ever going to be, it's going to push you. Your goals are going to push you. Your dreams are going to push you. The opportunity of a lifetime that happens in this particular time frame is going to push you. It's going to drive you. You have to make a decision that I will learn from this thing. Every experience is my education. I have already made up my mind that I know I will fall down. I know that I will stumble, but I already see myself getting back up. Therefore, I'm never down. I'm either up or getting back up. I'm going to learn. You will never, ever be successful until you turn your pain into greatness, until you allow your pain to push you from where you are to 
push you to where you need to be. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize, a part of your product. I, I challenge you to push yourself. If you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through that singing career, fight your way through boxing, fight your way through football, but the end of the fight is going to come victory. I challenge you to never give up. You're going to be here one day, but you'll never get here if you give up, if you give in, if you quit. And finally, guys, you got to want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. And as you crawl up and out of that dismal and wretched place, as you rise above what you were, and as you take the form of who you are supposed to be, in the very act of standing up, in the very act of fighting on, you will become and you will remain unbroken. Everybody in your life will have a turn back moment. No matter who you are, you're going to have such a period in your life where it seems like it's not working. You're going to have doubts. You're going to have a lot of trials and tribulations and challenges. You always have a moment in your life where the direction you're going, you will have to make a decision to keep going or you turn back. The sad thing is the average person turns back. And it doesn't matter how you get knocked down in life, because that's going to happen. All that matters is that you got to get up. Fall down, get back up again. Fall down, get back up again. Fall down, get back up again. It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. The hardships that we've had are actually the things that teach us the skills and the perspective we need to actually become what we want to be. And if you quit, if you falter, if you stop, all the pain will be for nothing. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I don't care how low you are. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have experienced. I don't care how devastated your life might appear to be. The shambles it might be in. Wherever you are in life, ladies and gentlemen, you've got comeback power. There's a power in you that can enable you to be stronger and better than anything that's out here. Once you begin to know who you are, once you discover this power, the perfect essence of who you are, that's in all of us, that's permeating our being, that enable us to be the directors of our lives, it will set you free from believing, I can't see myself doing any better, that you truly can live a healthy, happy, prosperous life, and that you can make it in what are called the worst of times. Tough times never last, but tough people do, and you are tough. Whatever it is I want, this price is going to get much higher than this. It's going to get harder than this. And I've decided in advance it's going to be difficult, and I've decided in advance to stay in. I'm going to stay in the hunt. I'm going to stay fighting. I'm going to stay busting it. I'm going to pay the price until I get what it is that I deserve. The people in life that win play offense, not defense. Stop backing into everything. Stand up. Bow your back a little bit. Start to walk a little different. Start to be that best version of you. You have to resolve yourself today that you're going to win, that you're going to dominate, that you're not average and ordinary. There has to become a point where you make a decision. We're going to dominate. We're here to win. We are not here to play. And that takes some intestinal fortitude. It takes a decision. I'm where I'm at because I just flat decided at some point I get to choose who I am. The world doesn't tell me who I am. And in every family, there's a the one that eventually shows up in a family. They rise up and changes the whole family forever. I'm the damn one. And in your family, you could be the one. It's you. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. But you know it's going to be hard. But find out what will make it worth it for you. When life drops you to your knees, your reasons will help you get back up. Why are you here, Les? Because I want to make Mama proud. 
of you. Why are you here, Les? I promised my kids something to do for them. I'm going to give them a better life. I want to leave them a legacy. I'm not going to give up. Go back. Go back, fool. Go back. No, no. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one. I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it.